Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Sean from Hoy Information Service. Today we're going to be talking about the new Research 6 dashboard. The first thing you might notice about Research 6 is your primary navigation functions have been moved over to this left hand column. Instead of hovering and viewing drop down menus, you can click on this little icon here to view the subcategories of each. In Research 6, the My Prospect function has now been added as a subcategory under Contacts. This column can actually be hidden by clicking on this little toggle icon located on the top right hand corner of the page. If we go ahead and click this once, the column actually disappears. If we move our mouse over to the left hand side of the page, the column actually slides over. We can go ahead and click on this toggle icon once more to have this column stay frozen on the page. In Research 6, your listing activity, your open house activity, your prospect matches, and your My Listing menu will appear from the same portion of the page. To access each, we can click on these individual tabs to view each menu. We've also added a filter button to easily filter the information of each feed. Notice the new UI UX makes the information seem a lot more crisp and clean. If we want to refresh, we can click on this little refresh link here. Under your listing activity, you're going to see a condo median and residential median statistic for Kauai and the Big Island. This information is based on sold data for the last 30 days, so they will be updated daily. Below that, you're going to notice now our news actually display dates, so you'll be able to see which news bulletins are the most current and up to date. If we move our attention over to this top banner, you're going to notice we've actually also added a basket icon here. So now you can access your basket from anywhere on our page by just clicking on this little icon here. If we go ahead and click on this little arrow next to our name, we can access our profile. You can go ahead and change your password from this new tab here. Anytime we want to get back to the dashboard, we can click on this little dashboard icon here. So last, I just wanted to show you guys what our dashboard would look like on your mobile device. And I can actually do that by uh, minimizing this page a little bit and showing you the effects. So as I minimize this page, what you're going to start to notice is uh, first these icons are going to appear in a drop down menu like this. Next, you're going to notice these tabs are going to appear as icons as, it, as we shrink the page a little bit more. And last, these columns are going to actually start stacking onto each other. And so you're left with a fully compatible mobile website. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this uh, short training. Um, yeah, hope you have a good one. Thanks again.